out, y'all. So, head into this interview. Continue on Murchison Road for two miles. And of course, I made sure that I was at least a good mile or so away from the house before GPS get running her mouth. But yeah, y'all, every time, see, this is why I need to go on here and get away. And I looked on zilu.com, right? And there are actually some affordable houses that are actually houses, number one, not apartments. Although at this point, I settle for a good apartment. But, honey, I done seen two houses that done opened up. Now, of course, by the time I get my shit together, it'd be a miracle if those two houses are still available in three months. But the fact that the prices are being posted at the rate that they are, it's like, okay, maybe I should go ahead and make the move to Spring Lake instead. It's like Spring Lake is still a pretty major city. Not as much as, you know, Fayetteville. However, it's still next door to Fayetteville. Like, I'm not too far away. Spring Lake, I'm just a 10 to 15 minute drive away, especially one house is right off the highway. It's like, it would put me just 10 minutes away from my current address. So it's like, I can still, I would have the advantage of, you know, doing pickups in Spring Lake and then dashing down to Fayetteville and doing deliveries and stuff there too. As far as, you know, with DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, Point Pickup, Spark, and live, you know, all the apps that I currently do. Now, I will be a little bit further away from my job, but it's like, hell, Spring Lake to Rayford Road is, is not that, woo! It's not that darn going far away, y'all. Damn, car just stopped out the blue. See, these motherfuckers are going to know we have any turn signals and stuff on in a timely manner. Like, ugh. Just crazy. In a quarter mile, continue straight onto Bragg Boulevard. Thank goodness I got gap coverage on this damn car. But anyway... Yeah, y'all. And I know y'all saying, well, why are you, you dress quite casual for this darn on? Once again, I, I'm, this is the reason why I don't do job interviews. Because it's like, I'm not about to be darn going dressed up in no suit for no intro double job. We're going to continue straight on. onto Brad Boulevard. Now, I did it for the last one. But it's like, after Chick-fil-A, I'm not darn going, I'm not darn going about to do it. I say buttoning this one up until I got him route because of the fact that this is about to choke the hell out my ass. And then with these nails, it's hard for me to unbutton it. And of course, I can't get no help from anybody. Sad to say, even though I live with the damn demon. Now how she been getting it. Everybody else been dropping it. It's sad to say I've been hoping that somebody lace her shit with some damn fit and all. But that bitch darn on still darn on up and darn on ticket. I swear y'all this is why I got to get it. I, because I know y'all saying why we are sick and tired of this darn on same old same old for me. I'm sick of it damn too. I mean just up all fucking night slamming doors and going in and out and everything else up until I ate this morning. And then I said, fuck getting up in. Thank goodness I didn't go up, uh, get up to do lift this morning. Normally I get up for the 7 o'clock street. But I said, I, I, I want to be real rested for this job interview. I end up getting up at 6 o'clock. We have some slight baggy eyes and shit. They don't make for a good interview, honey. Especially since your face is covered. The only thing they can now see is your damn eyes. In a quarter mile, continue onto Robeson Street. So, yeah, y'all. 
That's been my situation. Honey, I am now motivated more than ever to go ahead and get the fuck out of that damn house. I'm gonna miss them cats. I think was that's the thing that's secretly been holding me back is the fact that I have separation, anxiety. Like I like to cling on to stuff for years and years. And them cats, I'm gonna miss like hell, but honey, I, I'm not staying for them damn cats. It's not damn worth it. So yeah, y'all, looks like sadly for the first time in my life, I will be relocating outside of my damn, I thought when I make this darn on move, I'll be moving to Atlanta or some shit. Atlanta, na, na, na. Continue on Robeson Street for three miles. But no. <laughs> Looks like my first move. And maybe this is better for me. Because then it will prep me for the major move. If I move outside of my current city into a neighboring city. And get adjusted to living in a different geographical area even like I said it's a, it's a very small baby still because Spring Lake is literally next door to Fayetteville but it's like if I make that step then when I get ready to make the big move it won't seem as drastic for me because then it won't be my first major move outside the city well it will still be because I'll be leaving the whole state at that point but it would be more of an easy transition because it's like, okay, I got prepped with transitioning outside of the city. Now I'm transitioning outside the state box. Because I keep looking at motherfuckers on, I'm like, oh my goodness, you got non-licensed people that are going to make it bank over there in Atlanta. I'm seeing people doing my type of services. Of course, not to my caliber. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that to toot my own horn. I'm serious. I'm looking and I was like, I was like, but damn, these motherfuckers darn gonna break it in, darn gonna money and shit. But it let, let, D1, if you don't take your ass to the A, and I know y'all saying there's a thousand beauticians today, but honey, they ain't got D1 there yet, honey. It could be a thousand of them motherfuckers, but they ain't about to do it like I can do it. But anyways, y'all, I only got 16 minutes more for footage. I don't know how, don't know why. Because I did delete some darn on... I want to say I deleted that darn on circle review off of my camera yesterday because I've already uploaded the YouTube for the premiere, which was supposed to be today. But since that bitch done took off for work today, I had to push it back yet again. And now she fucking up with my upload schedule. Because y'all know I like to stay on a consistent schedule. Y'all know my normal uploads is 9.30, 2.30, and 9.30. So my first upload is always 9.30 in the morning. If I do a second upload, I try to do it at 2.30. And then if I have to do a third one, if I got three videos to do that day, or if I got to do a breaking news segment, I always make it 9.30 at night. But see, today, since this interview is at 1.30, and I don't know how long it might go, you know, it can take upwards of an hour, I said, well, shit, I'm going to go ahead and go outside my schedule, and I'm going to set the end, I'm going to set the premiere for 4 o'clock today. I'm going to see, and some told me to hold off on posting that shit to Instagram. I said, uh-uh, Juan, just in case something lasts me to go haywire, don't even post it, honey, until the day of. And that's what I was fixing to do early this morning. In a quarter mile, use the left two lanes to turn left onto Rayford Road. Until I seen that darn on bitch darn going was up, I said, oh hell, this bitch ain't about to fix to go to work today. And sure enough, she did. So we're going to try again tomorrow. Because this bitch rarely takes off two days in a row. She'll take off Use two the left days two lanes to turn left onto Rayford Road. She'll take off two, three days in a week, as y'all can tell, but she normally don't do it back to back. Unless there's in a half burn, a mile, turn left. Unless there's a fellow crackhead and junkie that don't pass away, then she'll claim a, a family leave or some shit. 
even though you don't supposed to do that unless you're actually close. And with pilgrims, it's like you can have an auntie that's passed and they don't even consider that close. It's like you have to be, it has to be like a, a child or a parent or something like that. I think that's a little bit too straight. Like, you you know, you can at least they're going to have a sick, you know, a sick leave for like your siblings or something like that. Your sibling, your auntie, your uncle, and maybe even your first cousin. But as far as second cousins and all that, I can understand as far as that. But anyways, I'm approaching my location, y'all. I'll tell y'all how it goes. Okay, y'all, two hours later, I am back. So I guess it was a good thing I did not, you know, do the live stream. Well, it wasn't going to be a live stream. It was going to be a, a premiere. But I'm thinking about doing live streams. But shit, they got to get on a consistent schedule before I do that. And now it's about to change again because now I'm working. So needless to say, it took two hours. I came here early, 1.20, and I'm just leaving as a 3.30. I got hired on the spot, y'all. Your girl got a job, honey. <laughs> so, woo! Honey, girl, this darn going back and forth with a W-2, honey. But y'all know, I am a stickler for multiple streams of income, boo-boo. So that ain't my sole thing. So I'm down for part-time, flexible schedule. The guy is hella cool. Because I was worried about shit. I got the darn gold dress. And something told me, I said, uh-uh. I'm not about to dress up for no... It, it, they, it, look here, I'm here to darn gold drive. I can do some stuff on the side as far as, you know, sweeping and all that good stuff. I don't see the fucking point in darn... Now, of course, I didn't say it like that. But I was like, uh-uh. I got a button up. It is what it is. They ain't no going to accept this along with this amazing personality or I can go ahead and head on to the Ramsey Street location because Lord knows I know she needs some of our going drivers and stuff. And I know y'all going to say, well, hell, why you didn't go to the Ramsey Street and you know everybody at the Ramsey Street? See, that can be a blessing and a curse because it's like with them knowing me from the DoorDash uh, perspective, it's like they can already have some preconceived notions. Even though there's never been no issues, except for the few times they gave me the wrong order, or, you know, the address debacle. But even with that, there's never been like a a hostile situation with me and Papa John's on Ramsey. And everybody's hella cool there. It's just a lot of people there. And I'm talking about on the inside. And stuff. It, it's just, I thought about it and hell, I ended up even putting my application. I think I did. No, I didn't. Because for whatever reason, she don't have it where she's accepting the applications online. Because I did try to research. She got the phone number and stuff on the door. And y'all know I'm bad with darn gone being on the phone because I, I can't mask this country accent unless I'm speaking French or something. But English is like, oh no. <laughs> I got such a strong red... And you know, and that shouldn't really be an issue considering that hell we is in North Carolina and it's not like we're doing call center. But it's like, um, yeah, I did not want to call. I know, so weird. And then, like I said, even though I'm generally cool with everybody, I was like, Maybe it worked out for the best for me to get this location because it's still relatively close. It's just, um, you know, Rayford Road. I hit Robeson, get back towards Merkway, and then I'm within a mile of my house. So it's just a little bit longer of a drive compared to Ramsey Street, which is like literally five minutes away from me. But I'm not scared as far as driving late night because of the fact that, you know, it's a well-lit area, plenty of businesses all the way towards downtown. Then, you know, our downtown got the courthouse and everything all in that area, the police station. And then it's smooth sailing from there. Everybody knows me from further up, so. Because that was another issue. It was like, I had um, other places reach out to me from like Fort Bragg 
and darn going Hope Mills. And I was like, wow. You know, not too often, you know, the actual employer actually reaches out to you. Usually you put in the application. But it's like, with those areas, it's like when it comes to nighttime, and then, you know, being in an unfamiliar area, it's like, uh uh. Especially Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg don't got hardly no decent lights out there. The GPS is always freaking off. And then I'm worried about being docked points because of the fact that, you know, they do not got their proper signage for the speed limit. Like, it doesn't tell you when the speed limit supposed to change. Like, you might be on one street where it's 35 miles per hour. And then on that exact same road, and it's not a private road, it's like it goes down to 20 miles per hour. Now, common sense is, you know, for general neighborhoods, like if you own the road, the city speed limit in my state is 35. Private neighborhoods is generally 25 miles per hour. Um, and then certain smaller areas, like the trailers or apartment complexes, where everything is very close, you would get like a 10 to 15 mile per speed limit sign. But the signage is there going within a reasonable time frame. Honey Fort Bragg, not so much. A little bit with Hope Mills too. Ramsey Street, you also run into the problem that it's, you know, that major strip where you might end up be going outside the city as well. Even though I think you're limited to like a 10 mile radius, the way that Ramsey Street is located, you can easily, within that time frame, be in Linden, North Carolina. And it's like, ugh. And then it's like I said, the darkness and all that. <laughs> I don't know, I would have done it though. But I got this location instead. Like I said, the boss, hella cool. The two drivers that I seen there uh, seem like they good. So I'm looking forward to this opportunity, y'all. And hell, I might be able to uh, give y'all a little bit of behind the scenes tea. I don't know. Because you seem cool enough where I can actually vlog the experience of, you know, my day-to-day -day life of a dad. I mean, shit, I'm talking about of a dasher. Of a darn on delivery driver. And I'm glad he did not go with the script, y'all. That would made me really fell in love. Because I was already prepared for, oh, what you plan on doing and accelerating in the company in five years. Y'all know Adiba was going to be honest. I was going to say, I give you the politically correct answer, and then I'm going to give you the realistic answer. <laughs> so we, we didn't have to go through none of that at all, y'all. So like I said, this this hell, this was the darn on best job interview that I've ever darn on done, y'all. And y'all know D Wan done have been a little bit of everything, y'all. I done have been a receptionist for a lawyer. Uh, what else I've done as far as actually working for somebody that's not remote? I don't have been a curvy girl. The interview process was smooth with that. Shout out to Miss Tatum. What else have I done? Curvy girl, receptionist. Hell, the way they had me at that front desk at Miller Mile, you could also say I was the receptionist there too, damn it. And then last but not least, Chick-fil-A. Shout out to darn on Miss Keisha on that, honey. But yeah, I look forward to this journey, y'all. I'm looking, I'm running out of darn on footage. Y'all only got a minute left. So that is it. I'm now gonna go to the house. Prepare me something to eat and get ready for my position come Friday. So Friday is the day I start my training. I could have started earlier, but honey, I got to have a couple days to, you know, get adjusted and all that. You know, I still got to get some money in between time. I mean, I think we get paid training and stuff too, but I want to go on ahead and knock out some lift deliveries and stuff to get me some guaranteed coins that I know I need for my upcoming bill. So that's why I said, let me go ahead and wait the Friday instead. So that is it, y'all. 
I will see y'all soon with more videos. I'm just going to go ahead and let it run out of time since I only got 10 seconds worth of memory left. Oh my goodness, y'all. It done finally did it. So I guess I get to talk with y'all a little bit longer. So shout out to Samsung for the freaking update. Because y'all know, for whatever reason, whenever I run out of memory on my um, phone, it would never switch over to the SD card after they did like a certain update. And I was like, why in the hell can I not access my SD card storage? And I wish I can choose for it to darn going. Um, just record to my SD card because I got 95 gigabytes worth of free storage space on my um on my SD card and it's like now that I'm able to do it again I no longer have to worry about you know running out of darn on footage and thus now when I empty out my um when I start emptying out my storage on my phone I would now have plenty enough space for downloads for apps and all of that because I no longer have to store all my memory for my recordings on my phone. I know that sounds uh, tedious, but to all my vloggers who do this shit from the phone, y'all know where I'm getting at. And just in case y'all wondering how much my phone stores, it stores like 50 gigabytes. It's a 64 gig storage, but you know your actual phone system takes up, you know, about 12 of it. At least in my case it does. But something told me, I was like, oh, let me darn on, uh, click and see if it will finally let me darn go on, start recording and storing it on my SD card. And it finally did it, y'all. So, honey, at least some darn on good shit is happening the damn day, y'all. Done got me a darn on job that's a W 2 honey because I did ask that because I was like, shit, darn on $8.50 an hour and I got the darn on pay 30% of taxes. That's a good, you know. I was like, Ooh. but they told me no W 2. Another benefit to a W 2 is I don't have to worry about the double tax, you know, withholdings because y'all know as self employed, you know, I just. They say 20 to 25 percent. I just go on the high end and just take out 30 percent. Because you know, you got to pay for your own Social Security tax. That's 15 percent. Then your federal tax, which is like 10 percent. And then, depending on how much money you're making, if you claiming your tips and shit, which I would claim some of my tips. Um, you can jump up to like a 12% tax. So I was like, uh-uh. Let me just go ahead and ask the question so I go ahead and get prepared to set up my other account. I was already prepared to possibly set up a whole nother account for my savings for um, Papa John's. But thank goodness I don't have to do none of that, y'all. Now, I am at the house, and that is it, y'all. So feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. Man, of fact, shit, I might darn on go on out here and do some. Let me see. Oh, shit, I got a full tank of gas too, y'all. Child, depending on how this day go. Although Tuesdays tend to be slow days, but hell, you never know with the way that this darn on market is going. Like Mondays, which are normally busy, slow. And then Tuesdays, which are normally slow, is busy. So depending on how the day goes, Child, I might darn gonna come out here and do some door dashing. I might do like one or two lift pick uh, pickups. I, I'm damn sure I ain't about to do no more than that unless I darn gonna decide to work tonight when there's a street. Because I don't believe in working for less than minimum wage. Or with lift, I don't believe in working less than $12 an hour. And the thing is, if it ain't a streak going on, it's very easy to only be making like $8 an hour with Liv. So there is a, a streak tonight where if I do three pickups between 8.30 to 9.30, I get $24 on top of whatever I make. So even if I get only $3 rides, um, I always factor it in on the very low. Anything above that is a blessing. 
So if I get nine dollars and then you plus twenty four, that is thirty three dollars an hour over an hour to an hour and a half. Because sometimes you get that one long trip um, and that would take you a good minute to get there. And then it's like, it, it's rare. It's like 50-50 where I would get three customers and drop them all off within an hour. Usually it's always pushing like an hour and a half and then worst case scenario going into the two hour mark. So I always try to factor my driving for the worst case scenario. So $33, two hours, that puts me at $16.50 and I'm comfortable with that. But anyways, y'all, I am here. Let me go ahead and get something to eat. Oh, shoot. Second thought, I'm going to go to the damn grocery store while I'm at it. Shit, I forgot I'm out of damn food. Hot damn. Yeah, let me go on here and get in here, pee, get ready to go back in the car. At least the darn on car won't be too warm when I get back in here. That is it, y'all. I'll see y'all later.